last time you guys commented the PFRs were real tight and you couldn't get at your articulating knob on the back of the PFRs. We did not have the right sockets in the pallet for the PFRs to fit in place in my sockets. That's the reason I didn't Yeah, and I didn't know about it until we talked about it. You're missing a degree office. of freedom. Right. And that's where you're going to attach your other end of your PRD. And of course, you already know how to use your PRDs. Now, Bob and I were talking about this uh, that you have your preset PRD. And then you can go ahead and... As I remember when we did this, I mean, again, you're postulating that two of the cables are intact, so the thing is not going to go flying away from you. The problem was to pull the thing so that uh, instead of going skew and missing the purlers, you straighten it out. And, and what I remember is we were actually uh, attached to the sides of the IPS and we're pulling it sort of out and forward. So that uh, as the IV went forward after the pillow, so that as the IV was letting out the cable, we were continually winching in a little bit just to take up, you know, the slack and getting it going in the right direction. In fact, depending on which one of the, the cables you were simulating breaking, uh, one we had to do it on one side or the other, depending on which way it was sure. trying to go. And that's true, and I was there diving when we did that procedure when we were in the water. And that's acceptable too. I have no doubts that there are several different ways of doing this, and certainly we can approach that. If you want to approach it that way, well, I'm not this sure is still what, a development what you meant, idea. When, when, you, when we're talking about attaching to the, I mean, this is the, this is the actual uh, experiment uh, attachment. Right. Uh, okay. I wish I'd have brought one.
safety diver Teddy read me. Okay, how about you, Jeff? Well, it's clear for Mike. I'm clear. Okay, I'm going to back up. Safety divers release shoulder strap. Release backpack from Donning Station. Safety divers take the subjects down for a final ballasting in heads up position and slowly. And Mike and Jeff? Yeah. We have a PAM mock up representing the BBXRT today. Okay. We've got it in the same X location just to give you a feel for where that's going to be. Right. Okay, the objective is to lower it down to the five degree position. And that's where you're going to run into that uh, eight or nine hundred pound stop. And then the GLM would take over from there. Okay, well, you know what I would do, uh, rather than push it down myself, uh, I think one of us might stay back here to try to control it a little bit. Okay. I don't know, but uh, another, th I, I, I really don't have a sense of how hard it would be to move this. I mean, if there were a real jam on it, which is another possibility, uh, um, you know, us pushing on it isn't going to work too well. But in that case, I could certainly put a PRD. Oh, I bet I could push as hard as you can put tension on a PRD if oh. I get my feet down here. Uh, that's assuming that you that it was down this far oh, yeah. and jammed, but you know the thing might be uh, might be straight up. That's sure. that's what this thing is. Here. All right, and that should have popped off. We're just simulating a cable fail. I'm wondering how we can get that. Well, what, what would happen in this case right here, or any of these cases? If we just went ahead and did this and released the other two and left the springs. Uh, pulled in if they're secure, if the cable's secure, and if well, not, it's already pushed out anyway. Yeah, but you see, the problem is that, that then that, that loose spring is still is still pushing it off to the side. You, you're pushing it from one side, and the other two sides are free. Well, I know, but we've at least got all the energy out of the system that it's going to have. No, we haven't, because that, that spring, I mean, that's fine if the thing is, is pointed down into the perlas. That spring is going to push it, but it's got... It's not at the end of its drive when that thing is, is in the perlas. If that thing misses the perlas, it's going to push it past the perlas and we'll never get it back. So what are you going to do with the perla? Pull forward? Well, we, we might have down. to. I, mean, I if, think you've got to go forward now. If, if, the, if the thing is actually pushed too far aft, then like we're going to actually have to hook up to it and pull it back. You know, it, it really depends on, on the case. Well, I meant this case. Well, in this case, it doesn't look like it's too far. I think the main the main problem is to pull it down. <coughs> Utility diver to the uh, to uh, console, please. If you come over, no, actually, you know, when it when it starts to come down. It looks like it's going to hit the top of the perla. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in that, in this case, we might want to try Down and pulling one of these to the back, like Tom was suggesting. Let's try that. Or aren't they also going to try and get them in and out of some sort of embrace? No, they're going to start right here, start as if they, as, as if they'd already been back. They're going to start right where the first malfunction is going to be. With the IPS stuck. This is not really flight-like because it's out of the way. I'm just going to say that I've done 10 turns. OK. OK. Because you, you normally it's normally the thing would be up above here, but it's not. It's, it's about a foot low. All right. Yeah. So we'll say it's separated now. OK. OK, the latch is closed. I'll bet, with the luck we've been having, that when they go to close the keel I'll line, that's not going to work either. I'll tell you, why don't we just go ahead and put these struts in place, and we won't even have to do the keel. That would be uh, <laughs> be the next failure. You're right. But it is 530. Oh. And uh, 
you request that we terminate, and I think we can. And we can pick up a lot of this other stuff next time. Okay. Yeah. And we'll have uh, the IPS working properly. Okay, and we did put the keel latches on last time as well. So that's, that's correct. Oh, well, that was pretty easy to do. Oh, just did the cape too. Yeah, well, now you got a strut wrench to work with. Okay. All right, guys.